Chain. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Big thing basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Hello anyone who may be watching now or later and welcome to Lean's Hub with me Hillian along with The Fearsome Swede Drakir And welcome back to Dark Messiah of Might and Magic where last time well we we ended on a cliffhanger uh, so now let's not hit new game again let's hit load game go in here and go find ourselves a spider boss. <laughs> yeah. We got into the necromancer's lair. And it, it's a bit more than a lair. It's uh, like an entire fortress on its own. But we've gotten through so far. And we haven't been found by Aaron here yet. Because he'd probably just throw us onto another bladed spike. Uh, yeah, now we're going down here. Uh, can I go back up? Yep. Yeah, okay, that one got stuck for a moment. I'd forgotten that there's actually also the little lit box around. Yeah. Okay, how did we not get poisoned there? Wait. Fire! Wait. Fireball! Fireball! Yes. You should have used the fireball, right? Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, well, that dealt with one. Uh, really trying to climb on top of the freaking <laughs> lever. Uh, okay, this actually, is that we should uh, have the save the fire traps for these monsters. Well, we still have them. Okay, come on, come on, oh. come on. One of you gets shocked, then. Uh, yep, nice try there. Are they smart enough not to attack when they know they'll get shocked? And how did I miss that? Oop, one of them tried. Come on. They didn't. Yep, now come, they, not only do they not get shocked, they also still get poisoned. Uh, five, uh, not enough mana. There, there. Five, come on. We might as well go back to these. And completely miss the critical hits. Okay, is that the last of you? Okay, that that is the last of them. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I'd completely forgotten that there's a welcoming committee waiting for you when you get down here. So let's just put on a save so we don't have to do that again. And uh, go meet the queen. Uh, how about healing yourself? Ugh, giant spiders. Dozen yeah. She's a big one, and she also can spit poison for some reason, but yeah. She won't go past the fire here. The little ones, though, they freaking will, so... Let's just make a quick run. Not, not, let's not get stuck on this corpse. Uh, no, these are just normal lights. They won't stay away from that. But, uh, yeah. Now we have the big mother to deal with, and the little fox as well. And you got pincers? Uh, weakening, charm, sanctuary, lightning bolts. Fu might as well throw this one out. Yep. And, yes, they ha she has sort of... Now, not really pincers, since... Uh, actually, yes, they... What kind of spider has pincers? But some spiders have like uh, two, two, two claws per, on each feet. But I guess she has a little bit of scorpion in her. So yeah, scorpions and spiders are basically the same family. Ooh. Both are a bit. Did she just kill her own offspring, or no? Did it, it, it just get I? I didn't set. I don't think I set on a fire fire trap there because yeah, we didn't. We only used one of these. Oop. Well, that dealt with one of them. Uh. Oop. Where's the? There's the other little one. Okay, another scroll. 
And up you know, another one of those little shits shows up. So are, they, are these girls? I don't know if they're, they'll keep spawning or anything. Ooh. Uh, oh, okay, she can hit her offspring with those sweeping attacks. Uh, let's do this quick. Oh, there. And... Let's do this. Adrenaline doesn't do too much uh, on fireballs, I believe. It, and yes, it looks like these little ones are just going to keep spawning. But that should have dealt a lot more damage. I don't know if the glowing spot is actually a weak uh, point or anything. And rather I not get too close again to find out. Uh, okay. What just happened? <laughs> I think we just got accidentally kicked or something. <laughs> Oh uh, well. <laughs> Let's just focus on her. Yeah, actually, actually, we can get up here. I think she has some special animations if you're hiding up here. Yes. Actually, then we can get a hit on that. Okay. Oh. How did that still hit? Uh. Antidotes, heal. Let her waste her time up. Well, yeah, you can take on this thing both as a warrior, a ranger, or, or a maze. And why were you at? It, I think she hit her own offspring again. Ow. Oop. Ow, I jumped into that. Okay. Uh, I get the feeling this shocking effect won't work on this thing. It's a bit too big for that. How did I still get hit there? Actually, there are barbs on these things. So, yeah, getting stepped on would <laughs> not be too kind with these. Come on. Oh, yep. Yeah, oh, that must be the barbs. Uh, yep. That hasn't happened too much, to my knowledge. Then again, it's known how uh, bad my no my memory is. Okay, just keep slashing at its legs. Yeah, completely mi missed that. Okay, the adrenaline was consumed, so it must have hit her at one point. Uh, not enough. I almost jumped over that one, and yeah, she is just... <laughs> she is just chucking her own children all the way around. Ow. Okay, just dart you again for a bit. It's a good thing we have that endless quiver. Okay. Can't reach me, so she's going to spit. And oh, there's one here that's stuck. I completely missed that one. It... Come on. Can we get up here? Yes, we can. Oop. Nope. Doesn't interrupt you there. Yes, he needs to get into place for those animations. So we just keep running back and forth. It should interrupt her. <laughs> Completely dodged that one. And again. Again, the barbs. Uh, complete miss. Come on, you freaking 
dancing thing. Yeah, a dagger in the eyes. <laughs> even if it doesn't, uh, even if it doesn't fully kill. But we will kill this thing. So thank you for that one. Little freebie. Yep, yep, missed. Oh, yep, missed. Oops, someone at the door. Someone else can take that. I must have clipped me. Now, this is one of the things why I like having a full physical body in the game, because you can... Oop, you can jump over attacks like that and without getting hit. So, now, most of the time, at least. End of this, you're gonna need the two pair of pig legs. Two, like, yeah. There will be four. Yeah, well, it'd be nice to have spares. Miss. Point taken. Especially the guy brushes around. Drop. Drop. Oh. Inventory. And, yeah, there's the Li the Liana. But, uh, she's a bit tied up at the moment. Uh... I think the green stuff on her chest is her one of her weak spots for earlier you hit it, she did react. Uh, heal. Refill. Heal. Actually, you could just technically just cheese her by just continuously pelting her with arrows from here, and I could also just hit her instead of completely missing. But yeah, then you'd have to deal with the little bastards who aren't as afraid of fire. But if they're all afraid of fire, you're just... Yeah, they can't walk past the fire, at least, unlike her. I'm not sure if that fire trap got put down or not. Miss. <laughs> I should aim higher. Here comes a small one. Okay. Oh. Oh, hello. Actually, it's true. You specifically. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Spider yes. Queen decides to break dance in her final moment. Did she accidentally walk on your fire trap? Uh, no, I set it down at the entrance, so. I don't know exactly what happened there. I I think she was just dead already, but decided to move into a place where she could actually ragdoll around without getting into the walls or something. <laughs> okay, get the fuck away, you. There we go. Uh... Sarah, my dear, my... Thank you. By Elas, thank you. You'll regret this. She's a hindrance. Have you discovered Arantir's plans? No, not yet. Come on, let's go. Yeah, and now we have her back. So uh, we can, we don't have to do our own healing anymore. That is nice, actually. Yeah. Or at least... Once she probably, probably, yeah, probably once she stops running, she'll fill us up again. Yeah, you see Oop. that? Would you jump on a spider and kill it? Uh, what? It looked, uh, maybe it's, maybe it's something wrong, but it looked like she landed on a smaller spider. Much smaller spider, just boo, boo, both boots right down on it. <laughs> uh, if she did, then I missed it. <laughs> but I couldn't blame yeah. her if she did. <laughs> Okay, we could have, of course, abandoned her, but that would have uh, affected something later on in the game. When yeah. uh, we get to that point, I'll point it out. And oh, hello, shadow glitch. Okay. Poison in your ears. Don't listen. I'd like to tell you, but it's 
not a simple tale. Don't say anything. You can be cleansed of this. I know a way. I will talk to the priest at the sanctuary of Elath in Stoneham. I better get out of here. If he hears from me, he will help you. His name is Dila. He's a good man. Don't listen to her. She has no idea who you are. She knows nothing of your power. I do. I saved your life. She's been using you. Now, as you come to your birthright, she wants you to renounce your power? What sort of a friend is that? I can't really say that Zana is much of a friend, since, well, she wants to make use of us. <laughs> Let's just be uh, real. Uh, if she wants to backstab our demonic father, then she'd <laughs> happily backstab us as well. Yeah, as well, being a pawn to the father probably is not much better. Okay, uh, where are you going, actually? Have you discovered Arantir's plans? No, not yet. Come on, let's okay. go. Okay, we need to go find him. That's, and um, yeah, Arantir's chamber. This must be his room. So where is his journal? Nope. Yeah, we've already run into one of these as a, a switch. I'm guessing that's his uh, journal. Uh, and I had a feeling he'd be smart enough to trap his secret area. So is there anything we here we can chuck? Yep. There we go. Now, what's in here? It's a bit of a big place for something. <laughs> just some... One small uh, chest. <laughs> Wait, you forgot something there. Hmm? A lot of scrolls. Oh, yep. Yeah. Let's see. Telekinesis. Yeah, inventory is full. Uh, freeze, charm, fire trap, lightning, sanctuary, and weakening. I'll try to use some of those uh, since we are in the end game. So I'll at least have shown them off. Full health, fire trap, and some more antidotes here. Because apparently even the uh, uh, Arantia's memories. Apparently even the necromancers aren't immune to uh, spider venom. Uh, inventory full. Let's at least check this for. So we have opened a portal between Narharesh and Stonehelm and used the word Kar, which means skull in the ancient Shantiri language, to unlock its power. As is proper from uh, as is proper. Uh, from for deep within the heart of Stonehelm lies the necropolis is all invenerable as any in the world. Normally I would take my pleasure there, venerate the dead, study their secrets, explore the wisdom of the ancient embalmers. Alas, such is not my fortune this time, for there I must invoke the power of the skull to summon death's own avatar. May my efforts be worthy of Asha's praise. May the sacrifice of the living souls of Stonehelm be sufficient to imprison Yakabaleth until that day when the world is remade. Okay, so we finally actually have a name for what? her father as well. Murder tens, hundreds of thousands. Mad man, I won't let you destroy this city. Uh, yeah. He's basically planning to, yeah, sacrifice an entire city to reinforce the seal. Uh, what can we chuck? Yeah, let's chuck the daggers of frost. We already have the frost spell, and that is enough. Now, let's see. Some lines from Aaron here. Nothing interesting regarding his forthcoming plan. The path of bones. Those who fear death are fools. Those who fear uh, uh, death will stand against us. Those who fear death will throw every barrier in our way, fight until the last breaths in their awakening body, strive against the embracing darkness until it overwhelms them. Such effort is noble, and yet they are, uh, are still fools. For ours is, ours is the true path. All roads lead to darkness and death, and it is better to welcome it with joy to purge oneself of passions through death and re-emerge stronger than before. Ours is the pure death, and we fight always against the infernal contagion. For centuries we have strived against the demon tainted who pollute the very earth with their presence, and sought to bar the, uh, the way against the demon sovereign's return. Uh, mighty was the prison woven by the seventh dragon, and yet it was weakened by treachery, flawed by deceit. One day it is prophesied the son of the demon sovereign may yet restore his father to a throne of rotting flesh and fire. And so we have sought, out, uh, sought to shatter this prophecy. The Skull of Shadows, ancient artifact of the Seven Dragon, contains his hoary power. It can be used by the right, 
by the unrighteous to open the way, or by the pure of purpose to seal it forever with the power of death. This has always been our purpose. We shall carry the skull of shadows beneath the very feet of the demon tainted, for yea, even, uh, even through the centuries the demons have had their agents among the workers of sorcery and spells. We shall bear it to the throbbing heart of their corrupt city, and there is raw forted powers. It will open the door between life and death. The air will grow thin, the mountains weak, and the seas drain away. None will be able to stand before it, and the thousands who dwell in the corrupt city, the vassals and servants and beasts of the field, all shall perish. The souls will be embraced by oblivion, devoured and transformed. And from this seed of destruction shall grow a new prison for demonkind, eternal and unyielding. The souls of the destroyed will guard them and bind them, howling their imprisonment for all eternity. This is our task. This is our path. This is our sacred mission. We all, uh, we all tread the path of bones. Uh, all who tread the path of bones must swear to serve this goal on yielding and to make any sacrifice to ensure its uh, consummation. For if we fail, the demon siren will rise again and terrible will be his wrath. He does have sort of a point there since, well, Fenric and uh, Aaron, not wasn't, uh, Menelag, yeah, Menelag, they were both aiding uh, in, well, freeing the, the Demon King. But to condemn all of them to death? Yeah, that is far, far too much. And let's just throw this thing to the spiders without actually falling in ourselves. Because that would be another mark on the fail list. Okay, I didn't see that pop up quick enough to put down another save, but we can put them down now for safety. Uh, let's see. Oh dear. Oh. Scoot. Okay, you are very <laughs> dedicated. Oh. And yeah, now we're in the lower area here. Yeah, I don't think you missed a room. Did I? Uh, let's double check. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> confused one bald head for another there. Okay. Yeah. Diana will heal us. Oh, oh, hello there. And it seems she got herself sort of stuck there, which is probably good because we. Oh, boobs. <laughs> We kind of need her alive. Oh. Oh, what? How did that hit me? Okay, let them come to us. <laughs> That's uh, a bit much to run through. And they just killed their other servant, I think. Oh. Liana coming down the stairs like you're approaching me, really? <laughs> oh, that was the zombie. <laughs> okay, I was looking to put that dagger in the throat of a necromancer. Oh, what the... Where did you come from? Oops. Yeah, but this is a bit hectic, eh? I'm just, we're lucky that Leon and, uh, is on heal duty. <laughs> Come on, Sarah, pull out the freaking sword and the shield. You... Oh, come on. There we go. There, and stay the fuck down. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, go for fl I You. There. Still alive. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, thank you for joining us, Liana. Uh. 
Take a seat. There we go. He figured out who the healer was and went for her. <laughs> yeah, but I was kind of in the way for that. Um, I think that it's actually cleared out all of the enemies in this area, most likely. Uh, let's put that thing yeah. away before we get flashed in the eyes. Uh, let's go back and see what was in the other room we were so unable to explore. Yeah. Uh, I've told her to stay put for now, just in case I hear ghouls. Let's see. Some berry juice. One of the books that we can't pick up. Oh. The Wisdom of the Night Shard Clan Chapter 7. Okay, I've never found this one before. Uh, also, apparently somehow the screenshot from last time failed, so let's try this again. Okay, if that didn't pick it up, then I'll just be annoyed. Anyways, let's see. A uh, brief pam pamphlet on stealth and subtlety. Foolish warrior walking in the daylight, priding himself in how much his enemies hurt him before they die. Arrogant mage, believing himself invulnerable with his tricks of light and flame. It is in stealth, in silence, and subtlety that the greatest of our skills and challenges are born. Yet everyone sees and smells the bear that comes lumbering through the woods. None see the cobra that waits silently and kills quickly. All stand in the open where lightning strikes. Clever ones watch from afar and await the perfect moment. Trust the shadows, be the shadows, as silent, as invisible, as inescapable. Okay, nothing too important. Um, okay, we need four more skill points for Inferno, and I particularly like that spell. Even if it not, is not the best spell, it is probably the coolest spell right next to <laughs> the fireball one. Okay. Let's not waste any more time. Let's see. Uh, there's probably some side rooms here. Repair it. I don't think yep. I see seen you in one cause the lightning spell. Now, we've used a few scrolls of it, but it isn't it isn't too impressive. And the bottle. So many uses around it. Like Was it is it really berry use? Probably not. Though I'm pretty sure this game already has an M rating, or at least an 18 plus rating, so why would they <laughs> why would they hide uh, wine like that? might just be for the fun of it. <laughs> like, the word dialogue and the world seems seems really grim and such. But the dialogue sometimes does feel a bit weird. A bit like cheesy. it doesn't fit in. Yeah, yeah, a bit cheesy in the wrong place. Do it again if you think about it. There is the, the Evil Dead series. Yeah, which which is just grade A cheese. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, I love that. I love that. There's actually a new Evil Dead game coming out uh, sometime soon, apparently. Ooh. Yeah. And from what I've seen, it's basically that Friday the Thirteenth game, or sim somewhat similar to uh, uh, Dead by Daylight. But, uh, yeah, where you can actually fight back. Okay. And yeah, here was one more adventure with Ash. Portal, I hate to leave you, but I must prevent more necromancers from coming through. Sarath, wait. Don't forget the sanctuary. Please. I miss the Sarath that I first met at my uncle's house. Don't listen to her. You are what you are. Don't be afraid. And yeah, we just use this thing. That's what Eretir's journal meant. And through we go. And yeah. She's going to stay behind to close the portal, though how she will do that why she would need to do that from that side and not this one. And uh, then again the, there was a device on the side of it. That might be the power source. Uh, yeah. Now this yeah. has opened back up. Yeah, it has power source on both sides, too. 
Yeah, you probably want to sabotage both sides to make sure it breaks. Yeah. Chapter 9, Don't City of Flames. She doesn't know what you really are. All she has done is use you to do her dirty work, and now she's asking you to give up your heritage, your destiny. Indeed. I seem to be surrounded by women who want things from me. Not for me, my love, for both of us. And believe me, what I want, you'll be happy to give. No, no come on there. You'll leave the ghouls here. You'll get us both killed. Sorry, but I don't have that as an option. But yeah, we're back in Stonehelm now. And uh, yeah. They kind of consider this oh. one is quite a survivor. Finally. I was worried that the necromancers are done for you. They're all over the city. You know a way to get through the battle to the necropolis? Not me. My cousin Percy. He knows every inch of the tunnels and sewers under the city. I told him about you in case something happens. Help me! Help me, please! Don't ask me how he knows that. Oh, that's Duncan specifically. But yeah, now we have to deal with the freaking ghouls invading. Luckily, apparently, oh. and Duncan's dead. Oh, he was oh. quite a survivor. Did you just? No, I. I think, I, as far as I saw, he got hit by the ghoul. But yeah, oh, oh hello there. Okay, there we go. Stick you two together. Uh, more of them. Uh, yeah, I believe this is the second to last of the chapters. Though it will be a bit of a lengthy one. Uh, I need... really? Okay, I'm going to need to get rid of these if I want to lockpick that freaking door. Okay, uh, in the meantime, though... Okay, just a bit... Got oh, miss. Give them the fire, perhaps? If uh, th uh, that will help. There we go. Or that would do too. Yep. There we go. And you... Come on, even more. Uh, really? There should be a limit to these amounts. I say that as not another freaking one shows up. No. Oh, I was not keeping attention of my health. I think maybe maybe to save Duncan now. Yeah, with so many uh, Come on, game. Crashed. Okay, Steam needs a moment to resync. It's always annoying that it take it takes a few seconds to sync back up after a crash like that. Okay, here it goes again. Let's get through all of this. Okay. Then wait for this to pass. And screen share. There we go. And luckily it auto-saved right next to Duncan. Okay, maybe if I could stay in front of Duncan... Oh, oh, he actually got a kill in. Okay. Better go make sure he was alone. Uh -huh. uh, the necromancer was alone, but the ghouls not. Uh, uh, All of you get. Duncan. And well, he yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, he just can't take a hit from the ghouls. And won't you be surprised if they do remake this game, they add an achievement for making him survive. Yeah, I completely miss. 
Oh, come on. But that's real as well. Would it be maybe mm -hmm. to lure them by slipping into ice into the traps? Yep, it's a bit busy with them though. Well, yeah, if I put one. <laughs> okay, it worked with at least one of them. Ow. <laughs> I think he has a spike up his ass. That's probably the second one you did, though. You did that earlier before you died. Actually, a few times, even. You keep the silver leather arse first into the spike. <laughs> Don't mind me, come just here. Okay, into the fire with you. Yeah, they... They did say that undead creatures don't yeah, don't have a fear of fire and pain, but they do not like being set on fire still. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they are horrible. What the hell? We just spent it. First of all, was that your belly at first? No, Sarant isn't that fat from all of the food that he's been chugging. Speaking of... Yeah, you need to eat and heal. But wait, where was the food and healing in the... Wait, what is this room? Oh, we're full on full health potions. <laughs> you got a full 20 of them. There nice. we go. Uh, anything else that might be hidden here? Doesn't look like it. So, yeah. Oh. Very obvious. Uh, where? There's the rope, though. Okay, we probably could have used this to just get out of the combat completely. Not even sure. This might actually be the entire way. No secret area. I was about to say, maybe this was the way we were supposed to go, but no. Okay. Um, where to then? Hmm. Well, you missed a door up there. Yeah, that one, that's a fake door. No, no, the, the, the one you were inside is from the secret. Hmm. Pardon? Yeah, yeah, another fake door. Oh. Okay. Um, we're not getting up there. Not here either. I think we need to use the rope bow again, and we can't put. I don't think we can put ropes into those things. Yeah, they're metal. Hmm. What way then? Here, I'm guessing. Or is this is this is probably just going to lead to the same point. Oop! <laughs> Quite a swing. Oh no! Actually, this is on the other side. Uh, daggers or frosts, which we specifically threw out earlier. And this is back here again. Okay. Why did that not why did that not count as a secret area then? Um hmm. uh, which way to go? Hmm. Wait, he spoke about sewers and such. Actually, is there a grate here somewhere? And where the hell did Duncan's body go? Then again, all of the ghouls have disappeared as well, so yeah, the game just removes those. Let's see. Find Percy. Wait, where is Percy? The one we met in the sewer, the two of us not go upstairs. Yeah, I doubt it, that that was him. I think he's supposed to be behind the door somewhere to open it once combat is open. No, it's over. I'm not sure if that was here or somewhere else. So, this might have been a forced combat encounter if he is supposed to be opening up a door here somewhere. Okay, let's go through 
Maybe you should check right. the other room you unlocked. Yeah, I very much doubt that he'd be behind. He'd be behind a secret area. Uh, more of uh, there was another door in there, or was that the fake as well? I think I think I see. We there's a platform there. Can we get to that? There, we need to go up the other rope. Yep, we could have gone up there. Let's see. Yep, this is the way. The way! The way! Oh! That was close. I damn near rusted my arm to the inside out. This guy must be quite a runner for him to exhaust a freaking <laughs> exhaust a freaking ghoul. Are you Percy? You'll pay when I get my hands on you. You're a dead man. Yep. Uh, like you are not Percy. <laughs> oh, I heard necromancer. And you are Yep. Don't get in my firing line, dumbass. But yeah, there, to there would totally be an achievement to keeping uh, as many guards alive during all of this. Yep. Also, who brought in all of these freaking spike traps? Why are you not... Okay. <laughs> Did it at least save... Yes, it did. Okay. You pay oh, that was close. Die! I damn near rusted my armor from the inside out. <laughs> rusted his armor from the inside out, really? What? What? Oh, what the, where did you? Oh yeah, you came over the ledge here. So back over it, you go. Okay, it stuck on something. That is that is a bit of a drawback of having a physical body in the wall as well, that you can, yeah, get in, stuck in stuff. Actually, you, oh, you're blocked. I was going to kick him down the stairs. Oh, oh, he actually got a kill, and they killed him. You... Did I kill the guard there? You did. <sighs> oh well, take three then. <laughs> you joined him after all. I, I can't see. I can only see all the swearing he's giving you for accidentally kicking him down, him down the stairs. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, in the chat, uh, radioactive amoeba. You, you doing well? You'll pay when I get my hands on you. <laughs> Just. Hey, radioactive. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Uh, return to sender. And actually, actually, it makes sense that ghouls can be exhausted since they are undead, undead spirits in living bodies. He'll miss. <laughs> Oh. oh, there he is. Oh, one of them went into the fire willingly. Yeah, and of course, freaking more of them. Get down. Yeah. Get down, get down. What? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Freaking gopher ghoul. Uh, heal. Oh, well, you're not dead. Okay. Have a friend. <laughs> Wait, where did you go, guard girl? Uh, our guards died from the looks of it. And I hear one more behind me. Come on. Uh, 
Nope. That also works. Okay. Heal up again. Nope. Nope. Really? Yeah, this is getting a bit much with all of these freaking duels. Okay, let me deal with this one. Is that the last? That's the last. Okay, uh, chat, let's see. Uh, yep, just about uh, to go to work. No one said the undead were smart. Fire is where they like to go. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> uh, what we can do is just kill more ghouls. Yeah, okay, you're both right person. on that. <laughs> Yoink. Hey, you must be Sarah. Yes. And you'd be Percy? Can you lead me to the necropolis? Oh, sure. Through the aqueducts. I used to work on the aqueducts. There's a path through the flow valves. How do we get there? How? Tell me quickly. Come on. So forceful. There's a cyclops sitting right across the path. No one's getting nope. anywhere with him there. Get me to the valve control house and I'll get you inside. But now there's an undead cyclops outside. I'm not going unless you can kill it. Find another route or lead it away while I cross to the other side of the square. Yep, three parts again. Save your strength for errand here. And there we have our 10 skill points. And yeah. <laughs> we started the game with an undead cyclops, and now we have to deal with yet another one. First, let's get this li fun little thing. And we're we won't be needing our night vision for a bit. And yeah, this is the Inferno spell. Uh-oh. What it does? Is that it? Again, we don't have enough mana. Can we still have one of those plus 10 mana? Nope. It's a flamethrower. Don't eat your own hand now. Uh, yeah. I believe there is a way through here, perhaps, that we can go to get Percy around. Ah, there's the stairs up here. Oh, he's already... <laughs> he's already run ahead of us. Uh, yeah, we will be fighting that Cyclops for a bit. But for now, I think it'd be easier to just go around first. There we go. A secret area with... There. Health potion. And... Oh. Some squeaky hinges with nothing behind them. Wait, there is something there. Just a lot of laundry. Yeah. Oh, I will. Yeah, we could deal with that. But no. No, 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 no. No, no. Uh, let's see. That fire candle would be a great addition to my next barbecue. <laughs> it would make it really easy, huh? <laughs> And there is the ugly motherfucker. And... Yeah. No King Kong moment for him. Or... Really? Yo, fat ass. That felt good. really just r try to run past the big stinking corpse <laughs> uh. yeah what yeah they never said that the people of stonehelm were the smartest torches in the cave torch yeah. in the tunnel red red you actually gave me an idea oh. why don't we barbecue the cyclops uh, because it's already dead with all of its skin gone. Um, yeah, the flesh is already rotten, so there isn't much to barbecue. 
Yeah. Well, it might have something on it that's flammable. For Owen, for Owen, they might be using embalming oil. Hmm. Could be. For now, let's go this way. And right after I said not that we wouldn't be using the night vision spell much, we <laughs> we could use it a bunch. And yeah, here we go. Great job! Now let's go. And yeah, three easy skill points. But yeah, let's still take a shot at this thing. And hello. Okay, is this another way we could have gone? I don't remember this being here. So, let's see. Where would this lead? Yeah. Just do some extra stuff, it looks, seems. Shroom. You didn't want to eat that. And, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a dead end. So, we could have gotten it in here through some rope bows, it seems. Or some rope arrows. Get up, Sarath. Okay. Shall we play with the Cyclops for a bit, or shall we just move on? If we get the extra skill points from killing it, it could be worth it. Yeah, we get skill points from getting past it. And again, I do kind of want to do... That thing smells like dead meat. Of course, it's dead. It serves Aaron here. Now aim for the eye. Okay, just pelting it with bevels doesn't really do much. Yep, the survivors are hanging out here. Can it actually... Hello. Can you reach under here? Yeah, you, you could clip through the wall. <laughs> yeah, the eye is a bit out of reach. I was, I, was half expecting it to, I was half expecting it to have uh, special animations for trying to grab us under here, but apparently no. So... Nope. Nope. <laughs> He's just getting his head stuck in this seminary. Okay. Well, yeah, we got the extra... We got the line there, so... Yep. Get kicked. Uh, can it grab us down here? Would really that reach leads try to? Oh yes. <laughs> I do look I do like those context sensitive animations that they put in with this. There aren't too many, but it's still nice to see. Oh yeah. I was, I was, really all of you people were just waiting in this little room and Bye bye. And yeah, there, there's no real reason to fight it. We've already fought a Cyclops on. Well, we've already fought two Cyclopses on the ground before, so there's no need to go for a third. <laughs> oh, come on. Crash again. Oh, luckily it should have auto saved once we got around. I uh. hope so. Here we go, starting up. Yeah, it, it is still an uh, it, it is still an old game, so it will be unstable from time to time. But there would last <clears throat> last time it behaved itself quite well. Yeah, you had only like one crash, I think. Okay, load game. Yeah, this is past the Cyclops. There we go. And this, now there's no need to save. There's already like one five seconds ago. Okay. And there we go. Lighting completely changes. Let's see. See you guys. I'm off to work. Enjoy your morning, day, evening. Insert appropriate time frame here. Okay. See you later, radioactive. And... Be safe, radio. 
Are you going to do anything or are you just going to hyperventilate in your mouse? <laughs> actually, he actually blinks. I did not expect that. And... Yes, he yeah. Oh, there. No. I'll follow. Uh oh. Ooh, that was close. Okay, jump, Percy. Ah, yep. The bridge. Are you all right? I'll try to find another way through. If I can, I'll run around and meet you just up the street. If we didn't need him, I'd tell him to just keep running. Annoying man. What? Okay. Yeah, we he need him really... to get into. But yeah, it, it's Sana. Sana finds anyone annoying. Yeah. Okay. Now, if we remember right, we're going to get into combat here again. Or, well, you can guess from the, that there's going to be combat because of the freaking decorations. Did you seriously find a shelf with eight potatoes? Oh, you are stunned. There we go. One ghoul down. Get out of the firing line. It's a golden with you. There you have help. Oh, really? Come on, that's founded as an attack against him because he got bumped by a corpse. He actually, did he actually kill it? Nope, he did not. Okay. And he dies. Okay, he was almost impressive for a bit there. He'll... You... Catch... I'm pretty sure I've missed with that first strike on every time I've tried that. that some pies here we go I don't think I've had pie in a while actually same uh, the only pie I know I like to eat is taco pie and chicken pie okay yep. fish might as well empty out on these what what just why all these fish on the shelf like this I don't think this is an area you should keep fish at. Yeah. Okay, there's no lock on that door. I'm stepping into the fire, not a bright idea. Okay. And up here we go. Yeah, we, al we also have the optional objective to go to the church now. It smells like dragon magic. All right, let's go to him so we can perch out, uh, you know who. Yep. The nude is living rent free in our head. You can't possibly want to go in here, my love. Enter and be uplifted. Set aside your demonic and feel the blessings of Asha as sun on your face. And yeah, Xana is of course getting very uncomfortable with this. Back. Bad dog. That gimp dog thing. And yeah, some shadow steel armor. Which of course is going to be better than all of the other ones that we've had. That we haven't actually been using. Uh, what should we actually put our last points that we'll be getting into? Adrenaline will get us... Uh, adrenaline will allow us to do two fatalities after, after each other. But that isn't too big of a deal, I'd say. 
We could choose strength for more, well, damage. Or endurance for more health and armor. Endurance, Underwind. I said. I should not speak with mouthful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's check out the lesser robe at least. And yeah, we don't have a point, enough points for endurance at the moment. And hello there. Leanna told me about you, Seraph. Come in. Okay, another model where we can actually see the eyes. Yep, Xana's gone. In exchange, we get three skill points and dragon weaponry. So, yeah, let's make a bit of room for that. I don't think we'll be running into any de demon uh, things again. But let's still keep those around. Uh, so, drink oh, Winter's Breath, Fire... Yeah, we didn't check this out. Plus seven uh, damage, 14 against enemies vulnerable to fire. Which would mostly actually be the, uh, you know, the guards, the, the black guards, and spiders. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's get endurance. I mean, let's skip over the. Let, let's put it on to see what it does. Looks pretty good, I, I'd say. But our yeah. other armor gives us as the same amount and gives us a bit of stealth. So let's just dunk that into the holy water. And yeah, we have the Bow of the Dragon Horn, Staff of the Dragon Bone, and Daggers of the Dragon Fang. No sword? Which, oh. yep, plus 7 damage, plus 14 against undead creatures. Requires stealth 3, glows when undead are nearby. Okay, that I didn't know. May this battle-tested nice. weapon of the legendary Dragon Knights bring glory to Asha's name and death to enemies. I think that's same on the... I think it's that's... Yeah, that that's, is said on all of the dragon weapons. So yeah, we can put those gone. Staff of the Dragon Bone, which needs magic affinity three, but does the same amount of damage. And then last but not least, um, let's see, let's yeah, chuck those. Bow of the Dragon Horn, which yeah, archery three at plus eight. Okay, a bit more since while well, it attacks slower and such. But yeah, Xana did not uh, go down without at least some fight at least, and you might have missed it, but she actually started chucking things at us as well there. I, I noticed it. I noticed that. And the fire. And, and the angry dad. Do we have anything to say, Turlon? You know, another character that we can actually see the eyes off of. Uh, the eyes off. I like his outfit. Well, I think guess we can uh, buy you one. It looks. I think the arcane robe probably looks the same as that. I might actually go into the game files and steal that model. I don't think you can, you know, considering how old it is. Yeah, otherwise, I can just use that ripping program that I have. 
Actually, just for that, I'm going to put down a save here. Yeah, as a bit of a reminder with that, it's, it allows me to... It, if it works with this, it'll... Uh, if, were you stuck in your gravestone there? It'll basically take a look at all of the uh, models and textures currently active in a game. And then ex try to copy them over. Oh dear. And I had to say, Dragon Weapons are damn good. Yep. So, quick little save. And off we go. And, yeah, driving Zana out is another option we can choose to do or not. Uh, not too sure if it has too much effect on the uh, ending. I, I believe there are four endings total. And hello. Extra food. You really like mushrooms, if, don't you? I don't think if Zana is expelled or not isn't actually a factor that's counted in. I'm not actually sure now anymore. Um... Okay, I, I think I think I recall now what the conditions are of the endings. And yes, I actually do like mushrooms raw in real life as well. Give me a sword. I can fight. You'll get a chance to prove yourself soon enough. And if you hold still and let me heal this, you might even live to tell about it. I heard someone talking here. Oh. Yep. Oh, and that guard he was healing just died. No, don't, don't fire a fire bolt right across my face. But did you say that? Don't we have the dragon sword? We do, but we can't use it since we don't have strength three. Oh, come on! Another crash. Uh, uh. Oh well. Just need to start it up again. It should have saved close enough after we expelled Sana. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. In the meantime, let's go grab some more water. Okay, screen share to the here. Wait for it to catch again. There we go. Actually, this is probably the save we just made. <laughs> yep. Pardon? <laughs> Let's see. Going to need five and then we're going to need 15 more points to get full endurance. I doubt we'll get that. And yeah, I only really got this one because I wanted to show it off because it's cool. <laughs> it just, it just eats through mana as well. You'll get a chance to prove your valor soon enough. And if you hold still and let me heal this... Wait, how would we use that on the ghouls? Uh, what on the ghouls? Inferno! Yep. <laughs> Flip him over and then kick him out. Oh, both of you are alive. Okay. He even froze one of them. One of the ghouls, I mean. Yeah. Okay. You'll not be able to deal with this one, I think. Nope. Number two is dead. Oh. Come on, kill it. Ok, 
Come on, Archer boy. Uh, you're still alive? Okay. Oh, come on. Really? You get hit in an attack on your enemy and you're going to go and... I'm grateful. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, this can be really I annoying. Yeah, I hate it so sometimes when you... And sometimes it's so easily to accidentally hit an ally and make them angry at you. Like, at least give... At least allow them to give you some warning. Yeah, uh, there was one game I heard of that's... Uh... I don't, I don't remember which game, but there was one that I saw a video on recently, like a, a month ago or so. That had something with uh, friendly fire. If if you hit, if you shot at them directly, then they would get, yeah, then they would uh, aggro on you. But if they got hit in, in, if they got hit in a crossfire, then they would have a tolerance for getting a hit a certain amount of times. Oh, come on. Freaking cheat. Oh. I should probably start... I should probably equip the full health potions. Yeah, I should equip the full health potions. Okay. Let's test the inferno. Uh, let's see. Where are... There they are. That's... Put that over the fireball, since Inferno is going to eat up all of our mana anyways. Yeah, not, like I see you use it, but I don't see any use it in combat. Let's see, what is actually the description of it? Use fire damage over time, adrenaline deals even more damage. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to use this close to those guys, because they would certainly take them off. No, technically we could just skip all of this and go around. Since, well, we can jump from there to there. For now, though, let's just camp this spot. <laughs> he comes over the ledge and immediately gets his friend in his face. Nope. Not the time for getting tired, Sarath. Okay, let's just skip. We're just what going the... to bail on them. What? Yeah, it, it does. What? It deals a, a lot of damage, but it doesn't stun them or anything. And you really need to work on your cardio, Sarath. Um. Oh, we really did the two people that should comment on that. I'm pretty sure nice. you and me are not the most uh, fit of people. True. <laughs> okay, just up here. Oh, yes, people, I'm dragging myself in this world. I, I do exercise, but I'm. Well, new bodybuilder. Hold still and let me heal this. You might yeah. even live to tell about it. Okay, take two. We got across from the other way, so we should be able to get over from this side as well. There we go. Good luck. Okay. We can get over there. Yep. Completely over through with, with that one. Actually, really? <laughs> okay, last time and this time we're putting down a save after we've passed through. Because I'm getting annoyed of Talon's face. Right, so we're putting these ones 
here again. We don't have too much use of the silk sword now. So we haven't shown this one off in May. No, that's the fire staff. Where is the... Oh, we need strength 2 for that one. So that's a no then. Okay. Hopefully we get enough of the skill points for that soon. Yeah, we're, we were putting them in endurance. To prove your valor soon enough, and if you hold still and let me heal this, you <sighs> come on. Can I? No, nope, we can't grab onto the ledge from down there. Oh, yeah, since, since we have these dragon weapons, there isn't really too much of a need anymore for anything else. Okay, the archer died <laughs> over the ledge. Okay. This time we're prepping this. And ooh, I can hear something running at me already. Don't you don't you use my own Trick on me, you stupid thing. What the... Uh, over there. Bye-bye. No visitors. Okay. And since we're in a different area, they can't come after us. Yeah, you better save now, though. Yeah, oh, um, another Master Thieves outfit. We already got one of these long ago. So there's no need for it. Uh, health potion. And a ladder up. What's yeah, don't forget to heal. Lightning shield. Yeah, let's just use a full health. But why use a lightning shield as a decoration over the fireplace? And yeah, of course, it wouldn't be necromancers if they weren't raising corpses right as they pass through. Berry? No, I don't have... I don't want the silverware, I want the berry juice. <laughs> yeah, 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 people... He gets a bit cranky, but yeah. he doesn't get his berry juice. Let's see. Okay, a bunch of scrolls, fire trap, fire trap, freeze, sanctuary. Okay. Yeah, fire trap should be probably be useful against the ghouls. Maybe at least for throwing them off balance. Yep. Immediately just duck in and, uh, and pick, pick the wood. The wood? <laughs> what? Jeez, was that there it? Here. Just two foods? Oh, no, here. A health potion, okay. Yeah, of which we're full on. I'll actually put those there then. Deactivate that. The daggers are glowing. Because these. Of, of course, already they have the freaking poison breath. Uh, there's the antidotes. Okay, put you out of your misery, and put you out of ours. Anything else to kill with this? No. No, I, I was going to use it on the, the one we knocked over, but it's dead already. <laughs> okay, you're getting closer, Sarah. Still not accurate, but closer. Nope. Suddenly, this became a Resident Evil game. Anyone else in here? Nope. Okay. Health. And that's Lightning Bolt and Charm. We haven't... I'll, prop, I'll use Charm. Actually, will... Will the Adrenaline Effect have a play on the scrolls as well? Hmm. That I actually never tested out. 
Yeah, you never test out the charm, yeah. Like, we don't even know if we work on... Uh, let's see then. Let's try and get adrenaline first. So we'll know if that has an effect on the scrolls or not. Yep. Percy. Let me get rid of that before you break a leg on that. You made it this far. Let's see if I can get you inside. Yeah, at least okay. they warn you to not hit him. Yeah. He'll do enough damage to himself. I'll open it up for you once you've raised the water level enough. Then I'd better start the water. That's the valve over there. You'll need to turn it and open the flow. Once you've got that going, I'll open up the grid and you can get inside. But of course it isn't going to be that easy. I think I heard a voice there. Again, getting closer, Sarath. Really? <laughs> the seed is besieged and you're just sleeping. And again, he might have been Correct, using yeah. a bit much of the uh, berry juice. Yeah, they're drunk and sleeping. Uh, let's see. Fireball, no charm. And let's get all Buddha on your ass. Like, or whatever this signal is. Oh, no, this is an Injitsu symbol. Get... Okay, let's get adrenaline. Oops, thank you. Uh, the charm will... Oh, actually, that... <laughs> I managed to kill the other. The charm will run out, like it did right there. Okay. Uh, no one with the trap, really. Okay, now we use. Uh, where is it? Weaken. Where's the weaken scrolls? Weakening. Okay. Oop. And that. Oh wait. Oh, the ghoul is still attacking. And, okay, that did not... That did not affect the scroll. But it, it, the ghoul is still attacking it because it hit it before the scroll... Before the charm ran out. Wait, we have more than 20... We have more than 20 health potions. Okay, that... That shouldn't be possible. Unless it might be the program they didn't yeah, program properly, so it can't, it can't count over 20. Or you can have more than 20. Uh, maybe. For but, I, think, yeah, you, I heard that there's been some games with that bug. Though, the case I heard of that bug is actually from old Nintendo 8 bit games. Okay. So it's a. Pikey one who thought they should have noticed it. Also, something you probably noticed there is... Oop. I hear ghouls. There we go. Yep, one last one. Now, again, we... <laughs> Sit down and stay dead this time. You probably noticed that uh, the guards you know, got resurrected like as a zombie there. Uh, we already checked in on him. So yeah, the necromancers will actively re resurrect the corpses of those you've already killed. Oh. Uh, use these. Okay. <laughs> Percy fantasizing about using cleavers on the necromancers, I'm guessing. And small here. here. Anything? This doesn't really count as much of a secret area. Yep. Telekinesis. Yep. Useless scroll, since we already have the normal spell. 
which we haven't actually used in a bit. Well, yeah, we can go through here now. Or at least... Okay. And this should lead to the last part of this chapter. And just in case, we're going to do a safety save. Because... Yeah, there we go. Call it. Uh, the game it, the game is resisting us quite a bit, huh? Yeah, that's it. Well, we have about half an hour remaining. Do how far are we from the ending? Now there is one more chapter. Okay. So yeah, I'd say we have one more stream to go with this. Okay, screen share. I should probably start... I should probably see if I can tie that to a hotkey or something. Mm. Okay, take two. And... no crash. But there was a splash. Okay. Anything hidden in the water, perhaps? Let's see. Nope, nothing hidden. Now the architecture can use a bit of a repair. Come on. Yeah. I'm actually going to move that right over there. So we have easy access to it. Okay. Well, and there's a body there. Yep. Okay, a health potion which we can't pick up. And something here? No, that's blocked. Okay. Uh, Three, two, one. No, no death close. from falling this time. <laughs> that was close. Okay. Hello. Yeah, we're not done with these beasts. <laughs> Oh, no. And this time we don't have a convenient gate to impale it through. Or impale it with. We, we do have... Too bad I can't carry one with me. I'm pretty sure everyone would want to carry one of these with them if they could. Where is the beast? Oh, that's broken off. Hello. Still got the hits. Okay. Got the hits. Oh, wait, that... That was a lot easier than I remembered. And it falls right over the wall. And there. Did I, did I get a lucky shot in it or something? Because I'm pretty sure they required more than two hits. Or you three. You might have got some lucky shots. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Also, I see that there. Well, either that or you're in the past, you were a horrible aim. Oh, I see what... Oh, it's a little physics puzzle with that thing. So, let's stop wasting mana on that. There we go. Some baked bread as well. Uh, 
I can't pick them up, but I can kick them out. <laughs> yeah, come on. There we go. And is it going to go up now? Or did I pick too many... Yeah, I picked too many things out of the basket. Or... No, it... Oh, well. <laughs> and I still got a few of the things in there. Oh, th now you're going down. Uh, like a freaking cat. The moment you walk away, it starts doing the thing you want it to do. And these barrels actually remind me. I'm pretty sure that I missed a... Nope. Don't you freaking don't. Come on. I'm pretty sure I missed a, a secret somewhere earlier in the game. Much earlier. The first time we went into the Macromancer Caves. Where you can actually open up one of these things to find a hidden area behind it. The Macromancers? Yeah, the Necromancer lair. Or the, the caves that... Oh, right. That's the right word. That's the right word. Hello. What is this crawl space for? Hmm. <laughs> Almost attacked there. Wait, you okay, did what? attack. Okay, what is this here? Okay, just a different way around. Uh oh. I was expecting a, che a chest with something in it. Um... So was, were we supposed to go that way? I don't think so. Something about that area reminds me of something. Let's see. Yeah, this is what we need. But what door does it open? Well, the, the, the very big ones. Okay, and does it start to close? Yes, it starts to so. close. Okay, so yeah, this is here for shortcuts. Okay, that's why that was there. I was, and we we broke the table by landing on it. Okay, Sarah. Necrolords all over town. I promise I won't make Aaron here beg for mercy until you're there to hear it. Uh, yeah, if we hadn't, yeah, if we haven't hadn't exercised, uh, Xana, Liana would have turned hostile here. <laughs> She's actually humming. And also, if we hadn't saved her, uh, she'd be here as a necromancer. Oh yeah, I recall that. And also, yep. uh, let's take a look at the uh, statue. Yep. It looks a bit... Like, I've seen that posture before, just... Never with a knight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that would be very uncomfortable in plate leggings. Yeah, they would be fine. Just doing that with plate leggings... See, that... That'd be extremely uncomfortable. But yes, almost, almost like that, or is more agile than people think, but we're not that agile. Also, what are those, are those wings behind it or just giant uh, shoulder decorations? Because they're a bit high for wings. Yeah, axe perhaps? Maybe, so, okay. Endurance or strength? Well, we do have a sword we want to use that should probably be good against the undead. Yeah, we already have the daggers for that, though. And yeah, but we both have the daggers, so it's a bit short and already. Uh, I, think, I think we should go with endurance since we also get a bit of health with this one. 
then we get it even more health in total. Yeah, that might actually be useful. Okay. Poison resistance, I don't know what that actually does. I'm pretty sure it, it probably means that it will stop earlier, or that it will actually... At the, the poison effect stops once it reaches like 5 health or something. Maybe that means it, it would stop naturally at 10 or so. Because I don't think it will actually give you a full resistance. And yeah, now we're in the necropolis. And, uh... Oop, antidote. This place is kind of... The heck was that? I'd forgotten this actually. And yeah, we've got four mini bosses to deal with now. And I actually have no idea which body is the one of this dude. Hmm. Oh, thank you. And yeah, in case anyone missed it, I, there was a, a health potion there that I tried to grab, but because we we're already full on those, it just got chucked into the freaking abyss. <laughs> Okay. Uh, hmm. We'll have to be careful here because we can just as easily fall down into nothingness as well. I, actually, I think I remember... I think that Istvan will actually tell us when we're starting to get close to him. But first, we have to find out where the hell to go. Not up there, I'm guessing. Since he didn't pipe up and... There we go. <laughs> yeah, seven damage makes quite a difference, huh? Oh, are you this dumb? Yeah, you must be that dumb as well. <laughs> okay, uh, enjoy your position like that for the rest of eternity. <laughs> That looks painful. Let's see. I remember something being hidden on one of the sides of these big pillars. Let's see if he'll pipe up if we're getting closer or not. Yep, I, th I think I only got myself with that one. Okay. Oh, hello. Wait, there's a body on that. <laughs> ah. Did he survive? No, he did not survive that. Yeah, is that the elven bow? Okay, not the rope bow. I think this might be him. How do we break this, though? Because it's a bit obviously on display. Let's work on that drunken aim. And press not bound for using boat zoom in. That would be normally bound to R, which I've bound to lean, which I have hardly used through the entire game. This break it. Yep, there we go. Um Okay. What? Oh, hello. We, it's been a while since we've seen the spider logo. Wait, you... They were early on on this level. You did... Of course you didn't know this. 
I was a bit busy taking necromancers off ledges and stuff. Well, I saw it in the same room as... Uh, oh god, oh, what was her name again? Liana? Yeah, Liana, yeah. There was something in, in the room with her. How did I miss that these things make a, a different noise from sliding around and such? <laughs> Don't don't start surfing on it. Okay, you know, so has it um, fallen yet? No, I I oh, oh hello there. Uh, East Fong's watcher, what? Uh, he who watches the body of the ravisher, the sadist, the violator of the king's gentle heiress and poisoner of his only seed. May his torment be eternal. Okay, maybe we don't want to uh, release him then. Also, where is this guy gone? There you are. Uh, yeah, that was... That was one of the Necrolords, I think. And you should vanish any second now. Um... Hmm. Okay, I think we need to do something with this. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Okay, and then we need to find another peg like that somewhere else. Not in that, because there is none in that. So... Ah, there. Okay. Let me grab it. Let me grab it. Okay, whoever that is, you have a new location. Um, hmm. Do we risk a bit of fall damage? No. Yeah, let's just go around. Because knowing my luck, I just fall down into the abyss. Yeah, and the... Oh, damn it. I, I could have done a Venom yoke. Okay. Don't let that run out. I think um, people know which Venom yoke I'm referring to. This way. And back around here. I'm not sure if that will... If not, I'm not sure if that should have helped us against that first Necrolord. But I guess we'll see. And yeah, Necro Nords, ne Necro Lords, not Necro Nords. They're not freaking Nord VPN. Uh, they're just re textures Necromancers. Shut up. <laughs> okay, just split his head in two. That sound. Hey! <laughs> and yeah, he's gone. Okay, are we supposed to go down there? Yeah, we'll see if that had any effect or not. Let's see. Drop Eastron's body in the abyss. It should have been dropped into the abyss now, or did it land somewhere? Hmm. Unless uh, you actually killed uh, his body, which might have been the zombie you killed. Uh, That's new. Hmm. Uh, what way do we... Get I think this might be Oop. Yeah, there's something to pick up, so this isn't completely a dead end. Literally or figuratively. Um hmm. can we go down lower? 
We could probably put an arrow in that. Yeah, we're definitely supposed to be able to get here. Okay. There we go. Probably not entirely the way we're supposed to go, but we're still here. Okay. Oh, yes, I cracked. Okay, at least he kept his words. And another two skill points. And oh, this is where one of them landed. Talk to King Vedrak. He is Istvan's father and one of the four Lich Kings that is that have sealed the doors to the final chamber. Okay. Now, how do we get to him? Because this place is a bit of a maze. I hear you. I slay you. Okay, someone... Someone wanted to be buried with their mana potion collection. Thank you. Still should probably put on a mana ring if I still had any. No, back. Bad zombie. No. Hands to yourself. <laughs> really, how did that hit me first? Yeah, I, I think with I think with the daggers the charge attack might be a bit too accurate to really or too precise to really hit something with. What sort of caffeine are you little fuckers on there? Bye-bye. Really? You're that blind? Okay, you two. Bye. Yep. Oh, <laughs> bye for me as well. Take a shroom. Mushroom, 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 swoop. Wait, no, that. <laughs> I was. I on, really I... butchered that song. <laughs> I was to do, do the mushroom, mushroom, batcher, 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 but ended up doing mushroom, mushroom, swim in the ocean. <laughs> um. <laughs> um yeah, I really butchered that one, didn't I? Incoming. Come on, show me a lovely little eye. Or... Okay, that also works. <laughs> Silver just looked disappointed in him with that hand movement. Like, oh, I can't f throw my dagger in its freaking eye. Boo. Can't Don't. reach. Okay. That's... Did I miss something here? I'm not seeing anything to put a rope bow on. A rope arrow. Ugh. It'd be rather stupid if I started throwing around the bow itself. Or do we have to go somewhere else? Hmm. E e e e. I've had enough of falling down deep places. So no thank you. Oh, hello, that's a shiny. Is that something or is that just decoration? Oh, either way we can get up here. Ooh. 
Oh, that's actually high, low enough. Bring it for now. Come on. There we go. Just wiggle it a bit. Careful. Um. Okay. Take that. Bit of a waste, but might as well use one to take one. Um, hmm. Let's put up a quick safety safe. And go check that thing out. Oh, that's why it, there's a glow. There's a freaking mushroom. Yeah, that's not worth it. Wait, what, what the... is, you like mushrooms. Yeah, but to go all the way around just for one is a bit much. Still, let's just grab it and see if there's anything else hidden there. Come on, pull. Sarah! Let's just do that. Yeah, it could be worse. You can land it inside the Cyclops' arse. Or that. <laughs> Did you uh, actually land inside his ours? No, a bit too far away for that. There we go. Thankfully. Okay. But that, I don't think anyone wants to be inside that. Yep. Now, let's be a Ugh. bit more cautious with this. So there not for some time. Okay, mushroom. Wait. Actually, is this where we're supposed to go? Uh, that was not a massive mushroom, I think. Did this just say a regular mushroom? No, it it, it was a no, it was a magic mushroom from what I could sell it and see. Uh, actually, actually, yeah, I think this is how where we're supposed to go. Because now we can reach the other side. Uh, hopefully, this is going to hurt our knees. Okay. How's the knees? Oh. They're still in place, somehow. There we go. Uh, I'll just leave those two to their own devices. Over here. And... Hello. Okay, we have a chain up and a rope. There we go. And now we can get in. Is there anything else around here? There's some wood up there to get up on there, perhaps. Let's take a quick check. Can we put a arrow high and close enough? We can miss. There we go. And maybe we'll put a rope here. We can grab that. Really? Oh, I hit it. It just went straight through. Okay, that's a bit of an oversight, I'd say then. And. Yeah, I don't think we can... Can we? Actually, we can We can stick our head in the beam, right. so... No, no we can't. We can't jump through it. So, yeah, nice and inconsistent there. And we yeah, can't I, pass I, through it, but the arrows can. Actually, no, the arrows were stuck to it. Hmm. Just, they didn't do the room thing. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, where are we specifically here? We still have to face three more of those Necrolords. I think you are at the accounting area of the Necropolis. Oh yeah, where they put all the lawyers. Nope, but... Okay, okay, I guess they did, did, like, did not like the yoke. <laughs> Nope, they did not. <laughs> nope. 
What were you doing here? Grave robber? Could be. I did not mean to throw him with that much force. Okay. Yes, this is the crematorium. And yeah, there it is. If we'd waited, <laughs> we that's like the we, we've we we've had traps like this before, but I think this is the first one we actually fell for. Rexion, you oh, fell for it. Now more traps. Yeah. Okay, where is? No more. Okay. Let's just grab this. And let's see this. Seems like uh, a dead end. Hmm? I don't like the sound. Hmm. Uh. Oop, uh. I guess they spotted me and are charging up to where they think I am. Hmm. Well, hello, is that a chest? It looks like a chest. It is a it chest. Is a chest. And of course, it really, Sarah, you aren't uh. even trying now. Okay. Health, health, health. This rate you get an addiction to health potions. Let's see, I'm not seeing anything that way. So just turn this off. And actually we can turn it on because this is a bit of a dark place. Okay, who of you want to dance? And I'm pretty sure these guys count as undeads. Yeah. Oh, Vampire Knight's shield. Okay, that explains. Still undead, but... Dear. Yeah, a bit of a different kind. It also explains how they're so freaking fast. Oh. oh, I hear a gate. Oh, hello. Actually, I have more flame on the house. Where's the there? Not enough speeds. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, completely disintegrate that one. I didn't actually... Oh, again. Could I do the same with the staff? Let's see. Charge attack. And then when they attack... But <laughs> they did a bit more than just disarm him. Okay. It'll probably need more timing on that with the staff. So instead... Nope. And... Ta-da! <laughs> okay, I did not expect them to come charging in like that. But we are almost out of time, though. We are... We are well out of time. Yeah, we are somewhat close to the end. Well, I don't know exactly how close. There, there's still... There's still three more to go, I think. Or actually, no. Uh, was that... 
actually, that wasn't a lich that we fought. Like that was a necrolord, and there's four lich, yeah, uh, lich kings. Uh, no copyright infringement intended. That we need to deal with. I don't think that can copyright lich king. Well, otherwise, to be having to deal with the D and D. Go. So, I think we're going to have. I think we'll. Oh, here we go. I see my son has laid his mark upon you. You have my thanks for his freedom. Erentir shackles are undone. I shall help you to deal with this fool who has dared treat the souls of my heirs as slaves. Oh. Okay, are you a lich or not? I guess he must be a lich, but down. Okay, then. That's one down. Okay, so I was. So we did. That was a lich that we fought earlier, but it's not one of these four. Of these two. Possibly. No, that one didn't count. And the last one disintegrates as well. Okay, those were the four. And that actually means that we are at the threshold, I think. So, let's push this on another half hour, if needed, and finish this. Yeah. No way back. Only forwards. Wait, don't we need to kill several of them? No, that was all four of them. Oh. Okay, let's fight somewhere where I can actually see them. Yeah, okay, got them this time by doing it early. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> back into the shadows. I said back. Oh, you're going to... Yep. Yep, the third time's the learning to dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Come again. And farewell. <laughs> this is just mean. But that's what makes it fun, because we keep kicking in me there. Oh, hello there in the chat, General Kenobi. <laughs> uh, Kenobi! Oh, oh you were actually uh, quite a bit ago from the timestamp. Sorry, <laughs> uh, sorry I missed you. Okay, unless this thing is working with daylight ta saving times or something. No, it says 2119, so yeah, sorry for ignoring you. Oh. Yeah, that would have been a lot cooler if we saw more than just a reflection of our blades. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, here's a question for you. What happens when you stab a necromancer? They die. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Another. Really, Sarah? You might want to have that looked at. <laughs> Stone skin. We haven't used those any. So, since we have more than enough of them. Oh, hello there. Okay. Let's there use one of them. Oh, that actually turns our skin to stone. Okay. 
What, what did you expect? It's called stone skin. No, oh, but it slows us down. Okay. Now, I should have expected that it would actually do uh, a visual thing as well. And there it returns to normal. Because, yeah, they have been doing quite a bit of detail work so far with all of this. And hello. Yes, are you coming? Okay, that's him dead. And we have a surprise for the next one. So, come one, come all. See the flying dagger. Hello. Yep, miss. Uh, okay. What's with the random skeleton on the floor? Yeah, it is a necropolis. Okay. Uh, right again. So that one just seemed a bit out of place for some reason. Yeah, uh, its crypt must have fallen open or something, but... Oh, yeah, how did it... Oops. <laughs> how did it end up down here? There doesn't seem to be a, a sarcophagus around here. It's just a piece of a pillar. Hmm. That's a dead uh, grave robber? Um, yeah, it's probably hard to know which is a grave robber in this mess. transition points? Yeah, it could just be any guy. Let's see. There's a lid here. Oh, and it... There we go. Let's say we really should have that checked out. <laughs> okay. Antidote and mana potion. There we go. And that's blinding. So I think this should be the last transition point. And of course it crashes again. Okay. Give Steam some time to resync things, start back up. I should probably look into softer lighting at some point because these two do get burnt into my uh, eyelids a bit after some time. Okay, wait for this to finish. Share with Rakir. Load. And there we go. Any luck this time? Yep, there we go. And... Yeah, I think we are really close to the end. And even if we don't... Oh, hello. This looks familiar, a bit familiar. It looks like the start of the game a bit. So I'm pretty sure there was a statue like that as well. Or Actually, no, there was a statue of the spider. Uh, we know. Yeah, this time we saw it not long ago. So, how did you get here in front of us? Okay. So, how did you see this skull? And, yeah. That totally doesn't look bad at all. Uh -oh. And there is Aranthir. Let's actually do a quick little thing here. Uh, combat. Let's put that to T. Yeah, not much of a zoom. But yeah. Here we go for the final confrontation. Can we be sneaky about this? I haven't actually I actually never tried this to sneak this. Um 
Oh, and Liana ruins it. And now he mixes in as well. Okay, Aaron's here. We have an impalement to return to you. No, that needs a little trick, but it doesn't work if you're still visible. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, he, throw, he throws those fireballs out. Ow, come on. A lot easier than we do. Okay. Stone skin. Heal. Now we're going to rock your world. Or he's going to chill us to the bone. And yeah, nothing really special so far. Oh. Uh, Liana, we could use a heal. If you're still alive, you, you are still alive. Where the hell are you? Oh, miss. And of course. But you have heard to help you. So in the interest of fair play, I shall also summon. And so we come to this. My centuries of effort and your scant two decades of life as a demonic Ironic. Try to understand. Life or death, these are two sides of the same coin. But demons, the magics of Urgash and Chaos, they are pure destruction. The negation of all that exists. Now it hits us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's some the motherfucker summons an undead dragon on us. Oh. Or rather more on undead Palkai by the fact that it spits lightning. That's right. Yeah, at this point you would <laughs> you would really start kicking yourself if you didn't keep at least one bow with you and the endless quiver. Because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, do you have almost no opportunity to hit this thing with melee attacks? Oh. And it's gone, and now we deal with you. Or he just summons another cheap motherfucker. Okay, I don't know if it's actually timed or anything that he runs out of power eventually. But yeah, we have an opportunity. We have an opening to attack him once the. Once the. Yeah, that thing, whatever it is, Paukai or Dragon, is gone. So yeah, I have absolutely yeah. Again, I have absolutely no idea if this is just based on the time or if you need to deal a certain amount of damage. It's actually a pretty crap shot. It, I say that as it hits us. Oh, one. I can do it. Hello. What big, beautiful dead eyes you have. I want you to send them back into the underworld. There are none. 
none left. To conceal away your father. You have beaten me and murdered the world. No! <clears throat> I'll find a way to avoid his prophecies of doom and death. My son, you have become even more than I had hoped. Ah, the blood that shall flow, the fires that shall rage. Bring me the skull. The world hangs in the balance, my love. Take the skull quickly. The portal's weakening. Together we can heal the wounds of this war. Now, Seraph! Don't be afraid. No power exists that would dare to defy us. There would be no evil we could not overcome. Pick up the skull! Bring it! centuries shall the fortress stand, walls of spirit wrapped in walls of fire, and horned lords shall bow their heads to one not yet born of the darkest sire. One century of blood and strife, the moon shall darken and none know why. The resting place at last is found of the seventh who soared so high. Traitor! You've grown as weak as your mother! Curse you and Isabel for failing me! Have strength, Zareth! Use some of mine if you must! Ah! Hurry! Enough! Let the work begun by the seventh dragon be finished, here today, by my hand! and Ashan's fate still yet unknown. And that was Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Not the best game out there, but certainly a fun one, I'd say. Yeah, they, they did overhype it, like, I think they bragged about this cover to be one of the best stories so far. I don't know if it was, I'm sure it was Ubisoft Arcade, and that part backfired. <laughs> and yeah, like it showed at the end, we also could have taken it to uh, the pyramid that was further beyond, hidden in the darkness, to set him free. And yeah, there, from what I remember, there are four possible endings, so there are two of those are only small variations, where you imprison him uh, when you have Liana alive, you imprison him with uh, Xana alive, and you release him with Liana alive, or and release him with uh, Xana alive. Though I think it's also possible, it might also be possible to uh, get rid of Xana and then kill Liana, uh, though I don't know if that has an ending of its own or if it just game overs you. Actually, I, did it say there if uh, Liana hates you or dies that it's game overs? I, and actually, I actually didn't look for that. It said something, but I was unable to finish reading it. Yeah, probably it probably said that then. Yeah, so yeah, either either one of the two, and then it's free or in prison. Gabe Newell. Well, Valve was part of this. Yeah, that. Um. Well, so I'm not in I'm, let's, let me uh, let me double check something. I think this this game came out in two thousand and six. I think 
written, what was the year that Half-Life 2 released? Because I get the feeling this probably used the same engine. Let's see, Half-Life 2, which was released 2004. And then Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, which came out two years later. Yeah, I just used the Half-Life 2 engine, I think. Okay, so that's why the, the Valve software team members were mentioned then. Yeah. Uh, I think this was also game. one... Of, uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, sorry. It's still a good game. If it ever get a remake, the all I think it really needs is slight polish on the game mechanics and extra polish on the story and dialogue. Yeah, more a remake or, than a remaster or re-release. Yeah, but not a massive re remaster or remake. Yeah. Only, only enough to give it a, the proper polish it needs. For, there is very good potential in this. Yeah, I, this was the first game uh, that I played where you are were quote unquote the uh, bad guy or could be the bad guy I think. Well, actually, maybe Evil Genius preceded that, but the first game where you are in a first person, directly controlling the quote unquote yeah Dark Messiah. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it's not the best twist, but I still liked it. Well, I still like this well. I probably would not like playing it, but I so far enjoyed watching it. And yeah, I, w I definitely wouldn't mind a remake of this, be it official by Arcane or fan made, uh, or possibly even a sequel if that would ever be in the books. But probably it would be too old for that. Then again, we've been seeing lately. We've been seeing sequels to games that have been ten years older and further. Oh, and here we have the voice actors: Tersilin Kerslet for Sarah, Zana Mundaly, Barbara Scafrilliana, Fenric Eddie Crew, Aaron Tier, Dimo Paul Bandy, uh, and then miscellaneous from that. And yes, there, there was <clears throat> this game does have multiplayer, but of course it's as dead as uh, well. Errant here. Oh, come on. But he's undead. No, now he's full dead, and we I think we missed his body disintegrating. <laughs> but yeah, I did I did completely feel it just kicking him in the head while he was down. Because he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, with this one done. That means that next week we'll be starting with Darksiders 3. Yeah. <laughs> and after that, probably Darksiders Genesis. Though, sh should we run a test on that? Be because there is multiplayer with that. And yeah, if, if we could get that working, would you want to join in on that? If I want to think about that for... Like, some multiplayer will just work fine, but that play on that game, I, I, I'm probably gonna have to watch a a bit of a check up that on YouTube to see if that's something for me or not. Okay. For because yeah, those twin sticks can get pretty hectic. Yeah. For yeah, we, people may have seen on the when we play Orcs Must Die. Sometimes it's been smooth, and sometimes less smooth. And yeah. though at least I had my own character, I, I knew who I was. But on some of those games, it can get to be confusing at times. Or who's who, at the, uh, yeah. just when it happens to so much of things. Okay. Uh, games Lab team. Let's see, can we skip this? Or. Now we can probably hit escape to skip this, but let's just let it run anyways. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can look up some. You can look up a gameplay of the, of it. Um, yeah, I'll be testing if Dark Side 3 will run correctly with OBS. Uh, probably just a quick. Uh, <clears throat> 
just a quick start of it to see if it will run at 60 FPS and such. And yeah, not much beyond that. We'll still have Monkey Island on Saturdays. Yeah. And I haven't prepared the I haven't prepared the games for Sunday yet, but yeah, that, that should be easy enough. I already have the first of those. Hello, Holland brand manager. Michiel Verheid. Okay. Also, it's the Netherlands, not Holland. Holland is two provinces of the Netherlands. North and South Holland. Okay, that's the first one. I know Holland, but they're not only were split in two. Yeah, there is... Um... Let me fail at geography again. I think there's 11 provinces. And yeah, North and South Holland are just the most eastern two of... Yeah, are the, no, the, mo the most western of our provinces. Which where is where Amsterdam and The Hague lay. The Hague lay? <laughs> okay, that, uh, that sounded funnier than it meant. <laughs> Yeah, well, how you said it or how I said it? No, how I said it, the Hague lay. That sounds like a sex position. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not going to question it, how you... No, no, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Okay. Oh, dear. Uh, if it's looping, I don't... Uh, I don't haven't noticed it, but I think the credits are probably running at their end here. If the idiots was rolling, that would be me. Yeah, that, I, I don't think there are many, if any, credits that do that, but some do. Okay, special thanks again. These aren't no, they, these are different special ends, because otherwise the Valve team would be in here. Okay. Disciples of Sarath winners? Okay. Now, what the hell is that? Some sort of a competition? Let me do a Google. Let's see. Now, come on. Let's see. Disciples of... Oh, yep, yeah, that's the end of it. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Hmm. There's something here on the forums. And yeah, that's the end of it. Without the necromancer. Hmm. Or the music. Hmm. I still have no idea why they put the freaking necromancer on here and not Sarath himself. I still have no freaking idea what he looks like. <laughs> I mean, that's intentional. And let's see, the cyber's... Da, da, da. Oh, apparently there was a site for the game, uh, for, where you could play mini-games and win golds. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, there isn't actually much about... This. Okay, there must have been some sort of... Uh, yeah, high score board on that site of theirs. I didn't actually know that before. <laughs> oh dear. I, I, yeah, I think that used to be common for back in the day. Rare, but sort of common? Like, not many knew about it. Yeah, because then by, that was the time that most of that <clears throat> most news about games still spread by word of, word of mouth. Well, yeah. Or magazines. <laughs> okay. Um, well, yeah, we already said what is next up in the planning. Darksiders 3, which will be the first time that I'll play that. Uh, more Monkey Island, and we'll have to see what we get on Sunday. So, for now, uh, yeah, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you to especially Radioactive Amoeba and General Kenobi. Uh, thank you for watching as well. And as always, extra special thanks to you, Duke here. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. <laughs> and yeah until next time then and until then have a nice day and 
until then, uh, I said it now three times. <laughs> <laughs> Be safe, folks, and watch out for necromancers. Yeah, and uh, half demon <laughs> offspring. Actually, that how the hell did Sarah get? Uh, how the hell did Sarah get born if the guy was in prison for like a millennium already? So how the hell did he get out to uh, impregnate someone? Uh, yep. <laughs> Plot hole found, I guess. Oh well. Yeah. Until next time. Be safe. <laughs>